Hi, I'm Matt with Digital Monkey School, and this is a short form module in Voxatron, a game design tool developed by Voxalawful. So in this module, we will be taking a look at making our player equip a skateboard. So to begin, let's go ahead and go into our DJ Beep, and we're going to be making it similar to how you would be equipping a weapon. So instead of equipping a weapon, you'd be equipping a skateboard. So we'll start out by adding a player here. And we're going to add a modifier. And we're going to set it to host. Inventory item wield. And we don't know what the inventory item is yet. So we can go back up here and we can add an inventory item. And so this item inventory ID is 165. So before we do that, before we do anything else with that, let's uh, set this thing up so that it's wielded on collect. And we also want to give it a unique group wield. So we'll just put a random number like five in there, as long as it's not zero, because then it would replace the one of the default things. And now let's go back in here again and go here and we'll set this to be 165 and we also want it to be a duration of one so that it happens while you have that equipped so now in here we can just actually copy the feet and we we can do that because um, we want the same group ID we want it actually to replace the feet and so you can control C to copy that and then go inside here control V to paste it and now let's go in here and actually remove all of these except the first one and I'll set this to 11 so we have a little bit more space for the skateboard And I'm going to select the feet and move them up by two. And actually, I'm going to try and pose his feet a little bit here so that it looks like he's actually on the skateboard in here. That might be a little bit too extreme, but we can adjust it later. And so now I'll just add a skateboard quickly in here. It won't look too amazing, but you can always make your skateboard look a lot better. add some wheels in here and I'll turn this on so I can add the wheels on both sides at the same time and that's a little too far back okay So now we actually also want to copy this. I'm Control C. I'm copying that with Control C, and then now I'm going to go back to the inventory item, uh, and we're going to place. Actually, we're going to place a pickup here first, and put that in there, and then we'll go inside the the pickup, and we'll paste. The animation in here and this one is going to be the pickup so we don't want the feed in here so we'll just delete that and then the inventory item we don't actually need it to look like you're getting an inventory item so we can just add a blank and turn it into an animation and throw that inside the inventory item and it just needs that it needs an artwork with an animation inside of it uh, for it to work, but it doesn't need to actually be anything. 
So we'll just leave it like that for now. So we can actually put this in our room. But there are a few more settings that we want to change. So we want to change it to be collectible. And probably don't want it moving around. So we can set zero turn speed. Uh, we don't want it to die either, so zero mortality. And that should be good. So then we can go back here, and now we can actually set the skateboard player to do something different and exciting. So let's change it to not have default sounds, otherwise you're going to hear footsteps when you're using your skateboard, and that would just not sound right. Um, and you can change some of these other things, like auto thrust might be kind of cool, so it's automatically moving while you're on it. Uh, we'll probably want to give it some attack damage too, so that you can run into enemies with that. Uh, change the speed, maybe to two, so you're going faster. And you also need to set attack for sides here. So now, let's see if it works. go and it's not making any sound when you're moving but we don't have anyone in there to test with it so let's put in some guys there you go So that's one way you can exit the skateboard by dying, but in a future lesson we can also go over other ways of exiting the skateboard if you don't want to always have that equipped. Thanks for watching.